Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor, just fooling around with our brushes. This is the third uh, video I'm doing on just uh, how to use your brushes and how to play with your paint and sponges and um, just some fun little things we can do to speed up our painting and come up with some shortcuts and have some fun while we're learning along the way. So what I'd like to show you is, I'm going to see if I can do the bottom of a tree, the, the branch I should say the trunk. Let's do the trunk. So I'm just using, a, this is a Bristol brush. It's very, it's not very big. It's probably a size eight. Okay. And what I'm going to do is put, I'm going to put, I just got a messy plate here because I've been, this is my third video and I haven't cleaned anything and that's the sponges I've been using. And so black paint on one side of your brush and brown on the other side of your brush. Okay. Messy paint. So, what you're going to do is, to make a trunk of a tree, is you're going to turn your brush, you can do it, you can turn your brush this way, it's, I call it vertical, so it's a skinny side. So if you touch and pull down, you will get a nice trunk. And the brush does all the work for you, see? The brush will do all the work for you because you got brown on one side and black on the other and it doesn't matter if you put black whatever depends on what where the light is shining the latest side will be on the left or the right so now you can brighten up say the sun is shining on in this case maybe on the left so you can I put a little bit of yellow on my brush and I'm just going to put a bit of yellow on the edge of that just to brighten it up a little bit see that's a tree trunk. And you can also put the same black on one side and brown on the other and pull out your trunk to just get it so that it looks like it's got the trunk, the roots. Okay, that's your roots. Okay, now I just want to show you also what you can do with a liner brush. This is a liner brush, a script liner brush. The longer, the better, the skinnier. And you can wet that, and you don't have to dry completely, just tap it off a little bit, but it'll still be dripping. And you can take one, roll one side in your brown paint, okay, just roll it in, just put it in there on one side, pretend there's two sides to it, and then black on the other side. And then you get some paint, and then you can make some nice little skinny start wherever you want, and just come off the trunk and just pull up, pull up. And maybe there's another one wherever you want them. Boop. Ooh. And another one. And this, these liner brushes are great for making nice skinny branches. So you just come off the line. Come off one line. Okay, there's a line right there. Come off that line. Wiggle them around a little bit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oops. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I said, it goes like that because I need more water. Just a little bit of water. Roll it in your paint. Black on one side and brown on the other side. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See? And I'm not pushing very hard, okay? That's how my lines are nice and skinny. Alrighty then. So look. Just keep making all the branches you want. And it's, pretend it's a pencil. It's almost like I'm just holding it like a pencil and I'm just drawing the lines as if I was using a pencil or a pen but these these liner brushes are really good and they're, they're nice to use so if you want to have another one right here I'm just trying to show you so bring the lines off of these line off the line and off the line and while we're at it remember that brush that I showed you in my first video the regular painting brush a paint brush with those funny funny shapes uh, bristles are all separated that one there you can dip that into let's say some green and black we can put on some leaves just tap gently okay Good. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Just tap on 
some leaves and use those little branches that we made for a guide, okay? If you want some in the middle, that's okay too. Put them wherever you want. But use those branches as a, as a guide for the outside leaves and then you can fill in the middle, okay? So it's, it's a tree that I'm just giving you an example of what you can do with the brush and with your liner brush, okay? And then you can take some yellow if you want and put that on top of that here and there. There we go. And then maybe uh, some other colors, maybe a little bit of red. So you can tap whatever you want on your tree. You can have any kind of tree you want. But these brushes are, are dandy for making your leaves. Then you can take your brush and dip it in some green, red, blue, whatever colors you want and tap underneath the tree to make some grass. And then flip up. Okay? Make severe, I mean, how quick is that, right? Now, I'm not fussy about the tree, but I'm just trying to show you, you know, what you can do with your brushes. I could do another tree for you, make it, make it a little different, make it um, more like a tree. What I'm going to do with that one is, I'm going to go back over it with the same brush, with this one here, and see if I can probably round it up a little bit. So a little bit of green, a little bit of black. Let's take it a little step further. Let's spread it out. See, I just want to show you that you can just have so much fun with your with your brushes, you know, and you just play with it until you get what you want. Isn't that cool? So that's um, that's just a little way to make a tree. And like I say, you can. After that dries, or you, can, or you can try putting on some yellows, different colors. You can even have it, you know, so as abstract or whatever way you want it yourself. It's your tree, so you do whatever you want with it. So, and then if you want to, you can take your liner brush again, and you can add some really nice highlights to it. So, as soon as I find my liner brush for you, I'll be able to do that. And then you can take it and you can tap it into your, let's see, how about yellow? Let's go with yellow, a lighter color so that we can get some highlights, okay? So let's highlight this area here, just a little bit more than what we put on it before. You can use this brush and you can put it on these branches here just to highlight the edges, just the tops of those, okay? So, um, just go ahead and have some fun with your brushes. Just play with them and see what you can do. I want to take that brush one more time. See, this is only like a couple of brushes and you got a little painting. This one again. I'm just going to dip this into a bit of leftover red and white, a bit of blue. I'm just going to throw on some flowers. So, I think I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. Okay, it's not dark enough. Tap, 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 and put some flowers around there. So I'll leave that with you and hopefully that helped. So if I come up with any more ideas or if you have any ideas that you think I could, you know, help you with or, you know, that you might want me to try, you let me know. There we go. So uh, that's a bit of fun. And hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you learn a few things from these, these short little videos. So you have a great day, and happy painting. Bye from Alison Pryor.